Hey, I'm Rob Jones. I'm here with Focus Right Innovation, and I'm going to be showing you the SL Mark II series of controllers, mainly focusing on the Zero SL right here. So, this is the Zero SL Mark II. Um, for those who are already familiar with the Zero SL, uh, the main changes uh, on the front panel that you can see here are double length faders, uh, which is a very, very popular request. Um, touch sensitive controls. So now if you want to see what parameters are assigned to a particular row, you just need to touch that row and those parameters come up on the screen here. Uh, we also have a cross fader, also another popular feature request. Um, we have uh, dedicated automat buttons now. So rather than having to use the last row of assignable controls like on the previous series, now you can just press the buttons to access the um, automap software on the screen there. So you have view to open and close the window, uh, learn to instantly assign parameters, and then user FX instrument and mixer uh, to call up your different browser groups. So to select a different uh, instrument plugin, I press instrument, and then it switches into browser mode. No, oh, there's only one instrument open. So for FX, for example, press FX, it goes to browser mode, shows you all your FX plugins, and then you select the one you want to control. So all the automat buttons are here now. Also, we have the transport controls here. So rather than having dedicated transport buttons, we decided that um, instead we'd have uh, a, a row here with, with, uh, with labels so that if we want to use the transport, we hit transport, and then we have full control of your, full control of your DAW transport. But if you want to deactivate it, you hit transport, and now the row can be used as a normal row of assignable controls. So it gives you more flexibility. Uh, we also have the speed dial, which is uh, an instant uh, extension of the mouse cursor for grabbing any uh, control of anything on the screen. All you have to do is move the mouse cursor over what you want to control, uh, and then rotate the speed dial, and it takes instant control of that. Um, so now on to the uh, automat features. Um, the, the SL Mark II, all SL Mark IIs come free with the latest version of Automat, which is Automat 3. Uh, Automat 3 is now available in two versions. You have Pro and Standard. Standard is available free to anyone. Anyone that already owns an SL, SL Compact, Nocturne. Um, but Pro is, a, is, a very, uh, is an upgrade for a very small price available to everyone. Uh, but it comes free with the Mark II, all of the Mark II controllers. Um, the features, uh, the new features of the standard version are Huey implementation. So now you can control uh, Pro Tools, and Logic, and Digital Performer just by in automat mode, just by hitting the mixer button, and all of the controls coming up instantly for you for your mixer. So the mixer levels and, and so on on the faders. Um, the other new feature is a, a startup screen uh, when you first load up the automat GUI, which you can call up at any time by going to help and then start up view. And this window gives you access to all of the, the helpful areas of Automap, like the plugin manager, where you can choose what plugins you want to Automap, uh, the DAW setup guide, where you can set up DAWs, uh, and so on. These are the features of Automap 3 standard. Automap 3 Pro, um, the, probably the biggest feature is uh, that you can now use multiple controllers at the same time. So you can have a zero SL and a Nocturne, or two Nocturnes, or a Zero SL and an SL, or a Compact, or as many, as many controllers as you want. Uh, and they can be used with the Automap software to control all of your plugins, uh, or the same plugin, or one on the mixer and one on another plugin. So you've got loads of flexibility to how you want to um, control your software. Um, other features we've got are drag and drop. So now if I want to change the assignments to uh, a particular plugin map, I can just drag them from one control to the next, uh, which is a very cool feature. Um, you'll also notice in here, uh, as well as being able to use the rotaries and uh, the buttons and the sliders for auto mapping, you can now use the drum pads. So any of these drum pads can map to your plugins, uh, the crossfader, and the pedals as well. This is uh, another new product released at the show. It's an Innovation Sustain pedal. So uh, if I connect the Sustain pedal, 
to the back of the SL, I can auto map it to any one of my plugins. So, say a, a distortion uh, pedal effect or something if I'm playing guitar or anything like that. Um, and we also have keystroke assignments in Automap Pro. So now if I want to assign any of my keyboard shortcuts to a button on the SL, I can just press and hold the, the keyboard icon. I can hit, say, Apple C, uh, and even other combinations of keys, like um, an arrow key, like a macro, and then Apple V. Uh, and all those keyboard shortcuts will be assigned to that button. Um, so that's a cool new feature as well. Um, and then lastly, there's a, an auto view mode, which if I activate, because the controls are touch sensitive, now when I move a control, uh, the window will appear temporarily and then disappear after a short while. So there's auto view there as well. Um, so this is all of the features of the uh, Mark II series of controllers for innovation.